What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I have some really exciting news to share with you guys. So iOS 8.1.1 has been jailbroken already by the hacker known as IA Snow. Now he's been responsible for a couple jailbreak releases way back in the day, and he's been contributing ever since then to jailbreaks. And it's amazing that iOS 8.1.1 has seen a jailbreak so soon. Now he did release a video where he was running Cydia and a verbose boot on an iPad 2, which proves that it is jailbroken. Now he did have a few disclaimers. Now first off, the jailbreak that he did show was not using a boot ROM exploit. It was using a different exploit and in order to accomplish a jailbreak for all devices we need a boot ROM exploit. So that in itself doesn't mean that an iOS 8.1.1 jailbreak is coming anytime soon. However, it's still exciting news. Now he did also mention that the jailbreak he does have running on his iPad 2 is only compatible with 30 pin connector iPhone and iPads. So that means that the iPhone 6, 5S, 5 would not be supported if this jailbreak did come out. So as you guys can understand, so far it's still in very early stage and he did also say he has no plans of releasing it. Now I'm not looking at that as a negative thing. The fact that someone is working on a jailbreak in itself is great. And basically we never see releases for small jailbreaks like this. It's very rare to see one for an incremental iOS 8 update. So it's probably going to happen during iOS 8.2 and 8.2 has already been released. It's been released to developers and it doesn't really include any new changes. All it is is just a watch kit UI for the iPhone to build apps for the Apple Watch. So iOS 8.2, that is very much likely when the jailbreak will be released. I mean, by then there will be a lot of work that's been put into it. So we can expect one, you know, about a month to three months. There's never a good estimate for when a jailbreak could be released because it really depends on how much work is going into it, how many people are working on it, and the actual firmware that it's going on. So iOS 8.2, you know, that's pretty much when you can expect a new jailbreak. But for now, it's exciting to see that iOS 8.1.1 has been jailbroken, even though it's not for all devices. Just seeing Cydia run on that firmware is good. And guys, if you have updated iOS 8.1.1 by accident, for some reason, Apple is still signing the iOS 8.1 firmware. And if you guys want to downgrade from iOS 8.1.1 down to 8.1, it's really simple. Just click on this link right here. It'll take you to an area where you can do that. It's so simple. And the fact that it's still out there is great. So Apple has not closed iOS 8.1 yet. If you have updated by accident, you can still downgrade. That's great news. And I also had one last thing to mention. So if you guys have updated iOS 8.1.1, there's something really interesting about it. It actually shrinks the size of the iOS 8 system. So it removes memory from your device, pretty much is a smaller package in general. I thought that was interesting. And guys, that's just about it. You know, exciting news. iOS 8.1.1 has been jailbroken and we can't expect that, you know, sometime in the future, but you don't expect it on iOS 8.1.1. All that work will go towards a future release, 8.2 or maybe even 8.3. Anyways, just wanted to keep you guys updated. Have a great day. Peace.